Greetings and salutations. Welcome to Street Smart Swing. My name is Jamin Jackson, also known as the Galactic Swing Dance Umpire, and I'm super excited to be scrutinizing this video from the Russian Jazz Dance Championship 2021. It is so exciting to see many dancers out there competing again after this long year of drought. The type of format that's going to be taking place in this competition is the Strictly Lindy competition. This basically means there's going to be a little bit of choreography and a lot of improvisation. It's my personal favorite format. Boom. Uh-uh, this is a classic competition song. And I love it when they use it. So just from my initial observation, there are a lot of dancers that are going around many of these different events here in Russia. So it's refreshing to see the hard work and dedication to compete. Because I just looked at some of these dancers in a different competition here in Russia. Uh, and uh, it looks like now they're at a different competition again. Unless this is the exact same competition uh, group with a different name. And this is a great uh, warm up. Love seeing a warm up. Yes. Okay, here we go. Let's see what's going to go down. Let's see. I'm ready. They might speed the tempo up a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Sometimes they do that. They actually speed the tempo up to kind of make it a little bit more challenging and exciting and it's fun. And that's exactly what they just did. Yes, throwing it. Yes. Sorry for yelling in the mic. I just can't help it. Here we go. So this couple looks like they're doing a little bit more improvisation, less choreography. Boom, classic aerial there. Get that audience involved. Nice timing.
Yeah. Yes. Round two. Yes. Nice aerials, nice and creative. Yeah, I think they somebody probably didn't get a second set. Let's see what happens. All right, let's see what goes down. We got one more, one more. Yes! Yeah, you can't just end the competition. You've got to have that lineup at the end. It's beautiful. <laughs> Woo! This is a good one. This is a good one. Let's talk about it. The reason I feel this was a, an extraordinary competition is because everybody came prepared. Almost everybody. At least three couples in this competition did some really unique movements and they paid attention to the timing. Really hard to do the Strictly format. Uh, in a competitive nature, if you don't fully come prepared, if you come and just try to get away with doing social dancing against people who are doing a lot of social dancing with some killer choreography, you're gonna get slaughtered. But this one was really balanced and I, I'm really excited to talk about these dancers. Now, the, 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 my third place couple, reason I have them in third place is because they did the craftsmanship part as their main thing. They really focused in on doing just basic Lindy Hop and most of their moves were just simply social dancing. Now they threw in a couple of aerials. This is the couple here with the blue 
she had like a grayish blue shirt he had uh, gray pants right here as they come in you can see okay they're doing swing outs they're literally just doing what we know in swing dancing doing some of the classic movements everything is clear the leader is super patient i can see exactly how the follower is finishing the moves look at these classic movements here they are not playing around the classic aerial i get to see their personality they're taking the classic moves and making them their own this is like it's really hard for certain dancers to be able to do that and even here on their second set let's see when they come out here again coming out doing classic kick um scissor kicks and then they do the little barrel roll into a perfect classic aerial coming away acting silly doing some of the original silly campy moves i love that couple i i mean not a lot of dancers really go after that style of dancing there are some some pros right now that are really like capitalizing on that particular style a lot of the harlem renaissance dancers style this couple did it the best i would say there was a maybe one other couple that kind of did that but this couple did it i would say better to, to merit third place so congrats to them on that one now my second place and my first place was super close super close it really gets down to a matter of do you value timing over creativity and in this case when the competition is close and the the pace is fast and the audience is engaged it, it's just difficult ultimately my second place couple goes to this couple right here you can see when they first come out he's wearing like the maroon she's got the maroon pants there the music kicks in and they immediately go into their set now the 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 beauty of it is they're doing some cool movements with choreography and i can see that a lot of these movements could be led they could be led based on how well the technique is when they're moving fluidly you know a lot of times you have to exaggerate these movements to make them work but their movements don't look too exaggerated in their choreography these swing outs are just beautiful and wild and just contained and then the the beginning the end the middle all of it is just so precise when i saw them come out the second time they do a lot of movements that are choreographed and they get the timing to get the audience involved this is so critically important even their ending had perfect timing perfect timing perfect control now i have to say the reason in my mind that i have them in second place is because that's the problem it's too perfect it's too choreographed this is the extreme side of there is no possible way for them to improvise a little bit where i can see their personality individually why they're connected not as some compressed manufactured monster of a machine together that's great but the strictly lindy is not all choreography it's not all a showcase of choreography and so this is and this was so sensitive for me because i liked their creative moves I think they had all three of those those uh, qualities that I look for with timing, creativity, and control to win first place. But the problem is the format of this competition is strictly Lindy. And it doesn't mean the whole thing is choreographed. Even though they were probably my favorite couple when it comes to the presentation of the dance. Now, get that out of the way. Man, that was super powerful, super aggressive and they came fully prepared so hats off to them now i gotta tell you right now my first place couple had the same qualities as this couple and i gotta tell you the reason i have them in first place is because of the thing that the second place couple is missing it's the very essence of balancing the format of this competition now let me pull them up real quick right here uh he has blue hat and she has yellow for her skirt now watch how they come out here boom beautiful choreography both look this is lead you can leave that everything that is choreographed flows perfectly with the choreography 
and it doesn't interrupt the flow. Now look, we thought, oh, it's over. No, they kept going. Very creative to keep the audience engaged. Everything flows as if they are doing social dance and choreography. Their swing outs are just as tight as the second place person. Their ending is great. They could have choreographed that, but they could have also just literally stopped like that. That's what makes that balance of the Strictly competition so beautiful. When they come in their second set here after the music was all botched a little bit and they kind of made them stop, watch how they come in here in the second set. Boom, they come right out. They're doing things we know you can lead and follow. And then all of a sudden, okay, they're doing these basic moves and you can't really tell what's really choreographed. You can see these things here. That's choreographed because they're stopping, but the beauty of it is, is that it flows together. It looks like they're doing Lindy. Strictly is the choreographed part. Lindy is the social dance part. It's a perfect balance. And the only reason they're in first is because the second place couple was over-processed. They, they did choreography the, their entire set. I know when I see choreography, it's the entire set for both sets. And so, in my book, that's great for a showcase, but for the Strictly Lindy competition, you have to have that balance. And so as a judge, this is who I would have picked. I would have picked this couple with the, the hat and the yellow skirt. Now, a lot of people in the audience would go, oh, wow, why would you pick that person over the, the other person? The audience, of course, is going to go with the thing that has the most timing. They're going to see the biggest aerial. They're going to see the biggest timing, the things that match the music the most but they don't understand the part that the mature dancer understands, which is the format of the dance. How do you balance those nuanced things? And so it was either the second place couple was going to be first or it was going to be the first place couple that was going to be second. But in my book, the format for this is choreography and social dancing. And I think the couple that I have in the first place is the winner of this competition. Come at me. Who do you guys think was the winner of this competition? Let me know in the comment section below. If you guys, love this kind of format i encourage you compete get out there and start competing it can be so satisfying when you are afraid and you put yourself in a competition like this and you work hard with your partner putting yourself out there in front of an audience and you fail what happens if you fail you can quit or you can just get back up a little bit examine what happened what went wrong and then get back in the studio start working and come back at it again and then nail it. You might get third place and so on and so on until you reach that goal that you're looking for. The beauty of it all is that you are changing in that process. Every time you fail a little bit in the competition, it makes you work harder on your dancing. And that's really what this is all about. I like to call Lindy Hop a personal development program <laughs> with music and rhythm and dance attached to it. It really is something that can change you as an individual and in your level of patience and your level of discipline as you make yourself vulnerable and get out there and do it. So I encourage you, get out there, learn how to social dance and get out there and start competing. It will, it will change your life. And so if you guys don't really know how to social dance and you're wanting to learn how to do this, check out my courses below. I bas basically have broken down the concept of what Lindy, Lindy Hop is in its most elemental form. So whatever style you want to be able to put on top of that foundation, you can do that. And so I'm super excited that I spent over 10,000 hours to do that. And if you guys are wanting to take the shortcut, I encourage you to check that out. I also have a lot of movements and a lot of classes that are for free that I've actually created. A lot of these dancers did some of my original moves, some of the stuff that I know that I've created, which is really cool to see. It's a bit flattering. And if you guys want access to a lot of those movements, I encourage you to check out some of my free courses below. You can get a little bit of what I've contributed to the Lindy Hop genre. So with that said, let me know what you guys thought about this competition. Who was your favorite? Let me know in the comments section below. If I don't see your comments below, hopefully I get a chance to see some of you in my class online. Take care.